Okay, hello. We're going to do another belief code session with Keiko, who has a parallel belief system running. That's three belief systems that are working together. Now, we already pulled out two of them. So we're going to video now what's going on with the third one. We did find that the first one had like every kind of belief that could fill the system in it. And the second one didn't have so much in it. So we don't know what's going to happen with this third one. No clue. We're just going to let Keiko's <laughs> subconscious mind take us there. And uh, Keiko, anything you want to say about the, the first two experiences? I, it's just that I, I'm just really surprised. I was definitely not expecting like three parallel systems to come up to something that felt relatively simple. Like, you know, I mean, here, I think the, you know, I, I will probably see it written, but I was trying to work on an intuitive animal class for a while now, and it just felt blocked. And I was like, well, it must, you know, in part of it, you know, it's like, well, just take action. But that wasn't working either. And <laughs> I would just get stalled every single time something would come up. And now knowing that I had three belief systems that were running to basically kind of make me not be able to kind of go forward. Like it, it makes sense, but I'm ready to remove all of that, you know, explore it and remove it. But I mean, how many other things in our lives when we are like feeling a little stumped are all these like, yeah, things running behind the scenes that you wouldn't even imagine. So I'm really excited about this because this is my first time doing belief code and I know it's really new. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and that just, and I'm getting goosebumps as you say that, cause it just brings up like all the gratitude for this being here in the world right now. Mm -hmm. And I've been giving a lot of sessions and I see how it's helping people like the ahas that go off, but some of these things, it'll take a little time to see the full effect, but sometimes people in a session just feel the relief, just even seeing that this stuff was there, that, and it made sense. Oh, no wonder why, <laughs> because why can I do so like, you're very busy person you accomplish a lot all the time so it's like well why can't I just get this thing going right yeah some things just come really quick and easy and I get things done and I do a lot but like this is something that I've held very passionately I have a lot of training doing the work and I have a lot of hands-on experience yet I'm like what is you know kind of creating this block for me going forward and yeah, and well, okay, three belief, parallel belief systems, I believe it now. <laughs> and, and, you know, another thing to mention, too, is that not everything that comes up makes perfect sense either, but it's an energy that's there, that's in the way, and thank God we can, like, pull them out now, right? Mm -hmm. If we need to put new ones in, we put new ones in, but we just get rid of this whole block, and then you can move forward, like, free, right? Yeah. Okay, so you know what? I think I'll share my screen. All right, let's go here. All right, so we can see the belief code. That little thing will go away. Good. And uh, it's basically these seven different things. I coordinate with the chakras, um, you know, crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, and root. And you'll see, as if you haven't seen the other videos, or if you've never heard of Belief Code, somehow you happened on this, probably because it can help you. And that's why you need to find out about it. Um, you know, I just want to give you that brief little thing, but I'm not going to do much teaching this. You can find that information probably anywhere on my website. Um, we're just going to get right, right into the whole thing. So let me get my eyeballs on. All right. So we know that we know the focus. You mentioned it a bit, creating online courses around the intuitive animal care. Uh, you feel hesitation and the, the, something about timing when the last belief session brought up this thing with timing, uh, not being good enough and all of that stuff. But first, let's just call in, you know, call in. Let's just have a moment of silence, right? Just call in all the help there to be with us. And... <sighs> okay. And I just want to make sure here that I can, I know I have your permission that I can test as Keiko, yes, and Linda, no. So I'm going to use this method here. Uh, I don't even know if you could see me on the screen because of the way it's being recorded. But I, I test with my two fingers there. If it's, if it's strong, it's a yes. And if it's weak, it's a no. So uh, let's get started. All right, is In this third part of this parallel belief system, right? We're talking to Keiko's subconscious mind right now. Is there a negative program running that we can pull and release here 
Yes. Okay, would we find it here to the right side, not left side? Is it divine? Communication, power. It's in survival. All right. And we're going to click there and we'll get, you know, a couple other subcategories. Come on, click. Okay. Would it be, it's on the right. It's on the right. Left side, no. Right side, control, safety, worth. Okay. So we're looking at survival, worth. Let me get my notes ready. And let's see what beliefs we can find in here. All right. Load the page. There we go. Negative statements. See, there's positive. We might come here later, but for right now we're in the negatives. So are we looking at section uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, section six? Okay. And there's eight of those. So is we're we looking for an odd row. No, odd, 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 no. Odd, yes. <laughs> odd, yes. That's why I'm like, I couldn't get off of it, right? Because <laughs> it's like, no, this is a yes. This is not a no. So it's an odd row. Okay. So is it um, one, three, five, seven, seven? I am not needed. Oh my God. Mm. Well, if it's not needed, then there's no need to get it going, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm not needed. All right. Well, I mean, it says I am not needed, but you know, you can just put that to, well, maybe this thing is not needed. I'm not supposed mm -hmm. to share this thing now, whatever it might be. So that's interesting. Now, yeah, we're just going to be pulling them up. We're not looking, we're not decoding any of this stuff right now, or we're not replacing it right now. We're just pulling up all, all of the beliefs to the surface of this whole belief system. So let's ask, uh, let's go back to the beginning before I ask. Back to the beginning. All right. Um, is there another negative program running on this third part of the parallel? Yes. All right. Is it to the right? No, it's on the left. Divine. Okay. Divine. Okay. Uh, right side. Forgiveness, higher self, and success. Okay. So let's get these notes in here. Oops. Uh, where are we? Divine. And six was it success? Yes. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> totally gonna Except it. it's gonna be in the negative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's good though. Let's pull something out of this area. That's we can, true. No, we get rid of or we replace mm -hmm. it. Re rid it and replace it. Okay, uh section one. Ten of those. Is it in the uh, is it odd? Yes, even though so it's odd. Is it one, three, five, seven, nine, nine? Uh, I don't even want to try. Interesting. Wow, this is really uh, interesting. So different from the other two. But you can see why there could have been all this hesitancy, right? Uh huh. That, I'm not <laughs> yeah. needed. Don't even want to try. <laughs> All right. I, I'm actually getting a little goosey over because it, it feels like, yes, all right, we're getting to mm -hmm. some and uh, just another aspect of it. Yeah. Um, all right. So is there another negative program? Okay, we've got three in this one. Now there could be four, but so far mm -hmm. we're at three. Okay, back to the beginning. Believe code. Come on. All right. So uh right, no, left. Is it divine communication, power, survival? Okay, so we're at survival. And uh, to the right, no, to the left. Codependency, sabotage, victim. Survival, victim. Let me get that in there before we find it. <laughs> Helps when you spell things correctly. <laughs> okay, so here we are, victim. All right, negative programs, survival victim, seven, uh, odd, no, even, two, four, six, section six, okay, and 10 of those, and will this be, uh, let's go, I feel like going down the list, is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, the last one, 10, others dominate me. We oh, that, that one came the, up before. Yeah. Yeah. You had that in the other. So, but see how that's, it's, it's another energy in a whole different system mm -hmm. of the same type of energy. 
others dominate me. I mean, it could also be that, um, because it's popping in, I'll just say it, see if it resonates with you, that maybe other people know how to do it better. Like, you know, like, do I have to put this out there because others are already doing it kind of thing? Yeah, I was getting that too. I was like, you know, who am I to share this when, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, I have my own farm and everything and I keep my animals really healthy, but like, well, I'm not like a bed or anything else. So yeah, I could totally see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we definitely have to get rid of that because mm. the success you have with your farm, other people need to have that as well, right? I mean, this is what you want to share with them. Because it blows me away how you could have all those animals, right? What did you say was how many alpacas? I have 16 right now. Plus you have, you know, dogs. You you have like, do you even have like chicken? You have, like you have yep, more than dogs, cats, chickens, bees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have it all. So that's a that's a lot to take care of, and you do it yourself, unless unless there's a broken bone or something like that, right? But other than right, that, right. You, you just and the thing is, you can communicate with your animals, and you know, and other a lot of preventative, a lot of preventative stuff, and you know, proactive. Yeah. Plus, I think a lot of people don't even know or do you even attempt to be able to have that connection to know what your animal is needing like on an intuitive to pick up on that. And that's something that you can give to them uh, anyway. So others dominate me. We're just blowing it out ourselves right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, So we'll come back to that. So that's what we have. Others dominate me. OK, let's see if there's another negative program. Um, is there a fourth negative program? No. So there's not a negative, another negative program. So now we're going to see if there's any these limiting beliefs, <laughs> right? So the negative programs, um, I should say it again, because maybe it's the first time somebody's looking at this. They had maybe didn't see the first two parts of the series or whatever. Um, they look at the belief system as a tree that's rooted into the ground. So the leaves and the branches are the negative programs like we just pulled out. And those are caused by, you can say, well, why, you know, why am I not needed? Why don't I, uh, why don't I even want to try? Why, do, why do I feel others dominate me? Then you come to the trunk where there's these limiting beliefs that can answer the why. And then beyond the limiting beliefs, you get down into the roots, like where it started from. And even past that, not always, but sometimes we get to a, the soil, which is a faulty core identity that happens between the time you're born to seven when you're just absorbing everything around you and you're taking things and you're taking good things and you're taking bad things in. so some of this stuff could be from way back to when you were you know like first came to the planet so right now we're at the we're in the trunk we're at the limiting beliefs um so let's go back to the beginning here right belief code okay so where will we find this limiting belief is it here it's on the right side okay left side no so it's on the right side uh, is it in insight, love? No, it's in passion. Okay. Passion. And with the subcategory here, be it to the right, no, to the left, choices, financial, sexuality, trust. So we have passion and trust. All right. What are we going to find there? All right, negative statements, section one, section two. Okay, eight of those. Is it odd? It's odd. So is it um, one, three, five, seven? I don't believe myself. I don't believe myself. Okay, so if that's if that's running in your mind, you don't believe yourself. <laughs> yeah. um, is it that, why would anyone else believe you? You don't believe you? Like, I, how do you take that? doesn't mean anything to you I don't, I don't believe, believe myself. Uh, don't believe that you could actually know and do all that you do it's like almost unbelievable I mean it could be that kind of aspect of it too right I mean I don't know just throwing it out there I'm kind of curious to see what the other if, if the there's a couple other limiting beliefs because I know the last time but I think it was the first parallel belief system it was like the first one didn't make much sense until like the other two came out and then it was like, yeah. oh, so and I'm going to wait. It all I'm gonna wait. <laughs> yeah. Tied it all together. So I don't believe myself. Others, dom 
Well, so it says, you know, I'm not needed. I don't even want to. Others dominate me. Well, why? Well, because I don't believe myself. Like that's how the 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 how they build upon each other. Mm-hmm. So we don't really know the details at the moment, consciously, right? But subconsciously, you got it all. <laughs> yeah. Right, so back to the beginning. All right. Let's just ask. Maybe there's not another limiting belief to this. Um, is there another limiting belief to this third part of the parallel belief system? No. Is there another limiting belief? No. Okay. So the last time you had like not many negative programs. Mm -hmm. This time you only have one um, limiting belief. But now let's see if, if there's a faulty core belief. Because sometimes you don't even have those. Because, I don't know, we'll find out. I mean, with these parallel things, or even with like a split, there's another thing, a split where the tree grew, but it has two, it's split into two. <laughs> there's another mm-hmm. one of these belief systems where it's um, two trees, two things of roots came together and made one. And so you have two faulty core beliefs. So so it's really cool the way they did this whole belief system and the different ways you can find how these things are all Tang- there's one called tangled right tangled together that mm-hmm. tangled actually is the one with the two I, think, I believe the two faulty core beliefs all right so do you have a faulty core belief on this part of this parallel belief system yes okay so where is it is it to the right not to the left in divine okay okay uh, on the right side so is it forgiveness higher self success so we have divine success Oops. Okay, so we have divine success. What's it going to be? I know you're waiting, Keiko. I know. (laughs) Get there, get there. Come on. Here we go. Negative statements. Section one, section two. Whoa, 11 of those babies. All right. So is this faulty core belief, is it in the odds? And it is. Okay, so is it one, three, five? Seven, nine, eleven, five. One must struggle for success. Ah, okay. It's all tied together. <laughs> Starting to see it to get coming together. <laughs> One must struggle for success. Okay. So there may or may not be a faulty core identity, but we'll ask. Um let me, I just want to go back to the beginning, right? Nice clean slate when we ask that question. Okay, so now. Third part, third parallel belief system here. Is there a faulty core identity? No, no faulty core identity. So this is what we have for this third leg of this system. Uh, I'm not needed. I don't even want to try. Others dominate me. I don't believe myself. One must struggle for success. All right. I think, okay, I think I know exactly where this is coming from. So mm-hmm. there's, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to say it. I can feel it. So there's okay so the one must struggle for success so the animals everything i do around the animals comes so easy to me it's so intuitive i just know and there's no effort like i just almost always just know like it's a very easy access and so in that like there's a belief that like wait i don't believe i can do this because i'm supposed to struggle to find success yet this is too it comes so naturally to me like it it was like it's just something I'm pretty sure I was born with and so like there was so much I was never taught and yet like I just deeply knew certain things so it's almost like well why would anyone even want to know or or on another level, until you even pointed it out to me some years ago, like, I was like, oh, I thought everybody knew how to, I, I just thought that's how everybody operated because it was so natural. Yeah. So I, I, I remember there, that. Like, I no, know. You're like, wait, what? Do that, Keiko. <laughs> You're like, wait, <laughs> what? You don't have like all these crazy vet bills? I'm like, no. <laughs> and so I think it falls into, I'm not needed because, well, everybody, it comes so easy for me that like, and it's not 
that everything comes easy to me as you, you as you know too you know it's like this component of caring for my animals intuitively that little portion of my life is one it's, just, it's that the comes, same as breathing it's just you just know it and so in that sense like i didn't even know it was something special until like you know other people especially like you pointed it out to me and like you realize that's kind of a gift i'm like it is like <laughs> and so there's that belief that okay well I, I I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, am I needed really? Because yeah. isn't this something everybody has? Cause it's so easy for me. And, and then like, you know, it's like, well, and then, you know, I have this whole idea that, okay, I probably need to effort and struggle to have success. So, well, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I, how, you know, I don't believe I can do it because I'm not going to have to struggle. But, and, and that's <laughs> so a like, conflict. Oh, that's a conflict. And that's something that has been put on all of us that we must struggle to we must overcome, we must struggle, we must, you know, all that to, to be successful. And here you have something so easy, but there must be something <laughs> wrong with that, because uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be hard, you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of little conflicts there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, So you yeah. can see where that, yeah. that push and pull will just put the brakes on everything. All right. And so, I think that's why I didn't even try in the past. Like, because I'm like, well, like, it just didn't all, like, like you said, conflict, like just things weren't meshing up because, you know, for most other things like school, you know, you have to try to do well and succeed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. it, it wasn't easy. It never yeah. was easy. I mean, everything else in my life was not easy. Right, right. <laughs> so. Yeah. And uh, I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's even stricter or more enforced in that way, I think, in Japan about the work, you know, the work hard and, you know, overcome the struggle or whatever it might be. Yeah. Or just push, push, push. You know, push, I don't know. Push, push. Yeah. 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 There's a yeah. lot of that. Yeah. Okay. So good. So <laughs> yeah. I'll ask this now. I'll ask it again later. But is there anything more we need to know about this parallel belief system? No. Is there anything more we need to know about any individual one? No, we don't need to know anything more about any of them for right now. But are there associations? Yeah, we have associations. Okay. Are there trapped emotions? All right. So we're going to start with trapped emotions. It seems to be that it's always the place to go to start. <laughs> okay. So let's pull up the emotion, emotion code chart. Okay. We can see them all. All right. So. The first trapped emotion, or the only one, for all we know, uh, <laughs> will we find it? We're going to find it in A, B. So A, odds. Okay, so is it one, three, five, A, five, blaming, dread, fear. Okay, first one, fear. Without the caps. <laughs> all right. Anything we need to know and decode around this? No. So we can just clear the fear. Yes. Let it, let's wipe it out. One. Ooh, feels good too. Yeah. Add a little extra love in there because I just love adding love. Okay, so we release that. That's good. That's gone. All right. Another trapped emotion. All right. Uh, A, no, B, aunt. Is it a one, three, five? B, five. Okay. Conflict, creative insecurity, terror, unsupported. Okay, anything to know here? Nope, we can release it. Okay, releasing unsupported. Yeah, feels good, feels good. Released, yes. Okay, good. Um, let me just write that down. I have to write them down because I find, especially when I start getting like lost in the energy, if mm -hmm. I didn't write released, if I forgot to write it, then I won't know, well, did I do it or not? I have to test and see what did I do, what didn't I do? <laughs> I got to keep my notes straight. Keeping your notes straight keeps you straight. Okay. So <laughs> is there another trapped emotion? Yeah. Is it in A? Yes. Is it odd? It's evens. Uh two, four, six, six. Okay. Humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust, overwhelm. That one's come up on the other ones too. <laughs> hmm. It's easy for that one to be up there. Okay. Overwhelm. Anything more to know? Decode around that? No. Um, so, so far, we're not needing to do any. And most of the times, I don't really need to. But we had to on the last one. Remember, mm -hmm. we had to decode mm -hmm. some stuff. And it, it was, was over one that we had to decode. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we can release this. Yeah. So one, 
Ooh, feels good. All right, a little extra, a little extra in there. Okay, so that's release. Nice. All right, another trapped emotion. Yep. All right, is it in A? It's in B. Okay, uh, odds, evens. Two, four, six, pride, shame, shock. So now we have some shock. Do we need to know anything more about this? No. So we can just release it. Yep. Okay. Two, three. Uh -huh. <laughs> Extra love in there. Yeah. So, all right, we released it. Got it. All right. Another trapped emotion. Another one. Uh, do we find it here to, let's say, is it in B? No, it's A. Is it on? It's A on. So, is it one, three, five? Blaming, dread, fear, horror. Peeved. <laughs> That's an interesting one. You're peeved about something. <laughs> okay. Um, do we need to know any details around this energy of peeved? No. Okay. So we can release it. Let's do it. Swipe that away, right? Just swiping along that governing meridian. Ah, <sighs> feels good. I'm telling you. I love it. Okay. Is that released? Yes. Okay, next one, another trapped emotion. There is uh, A, okay. Um, is it odds? Is it one? A1. Abandonment, betrayal, forlorn, lost. This trapped emotion is lost. Is there anything we need to understand and know about this? No. And so we can just release that one too. So we're releasing lost. Letting go of that emotion. Just pulling it from wherever it's trapped. It's released, yes. Oh, I felt that in my heart center a little bit there. Okay, do we have another trap? Another trapped emotion. Yeah, that one's making me burp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will we find this in uh, A? A, no, B. So odds, B odds. One, three, five. Is it conflict, creative and security, terror? We've got some terror. Mm. All right. Anything to know here? Um, we need to, un, you know, un discover anything about terror. No. Okay. So can we release it? Yeah. Let's get rid of. Re let's get rid of this terror. Just release it. Let it go. Ah. Yep. Oh, good. Released. <laughs> All right. Do we have another trapped emotion? No. No more trapped emotions. Is there something else that's associated to belief systems? Yes. Uh, belief. We have to go to body code. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to the body code. See what energies we find there. All right. Um, nope. That's not the beginning. <laughs> there we go. All right. So something here to the right. No, it's on the left. And it's in energy. Most of the time it's in energy, but could be anywhere. Okay. Uh, we now gonna find this here on the right. It's on the right. It's on the right. Allergy, emotional reverberation. Okay. To the left. Nope. To the right. Organ, emotional reverb. Okay. So that's <laughs> one of the emotions just kind of ringing out, right? Oops. Reverb. So let's find that emotion. We'll, we'll just use the chart they have here. Okay. Same chart. All right. So is this reverb in A? It's in B. Uh, oh, it's no evens. Two, four, six. Pride, shame, shock, unworthy, worthless. Mm. Okay. Worthless. Is there anything we need to know and understand decode around that? No. So we can just release. Oh, I got the gooseies already. Uh -huh. It's worthless. Oh, really? It's really flowing. Oh, yeah, that one's big. Oh. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. I'm just going to keep swiping for a little bit. Just feels good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So what was emotional reverberation again? I'll read it to you so I don't okay. say it wrong. Um, <laughs> did we release that? Yes, we released it. Yeah, because this one's really like, I can feel it going, wah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, what was it again? It, it felt pretty big there. Okay. So emotional reverberation is one form of current being experienced at the moment or unprocessed old emotional energy 
um, that can imbalance the body. An emotional reverberation can be compared to an emotional ringing in the body, much like the ringing that continues long after hitting a bell with a hammer. Mm -hmm. Just like a trapped emotion, if a similar stimulus or emotion is experienced in the future, it may exacerbate an emotional reverb that's already there. So this was worthless. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if there's any more. That that might that might be it. Um, is there is there another so there's another association? Okay, let's find out what that is. Body code. Okay, so where's this next part? To the right, to the left, in energy. Okay, we're going there. Uh, right side, no. Left side, post traumatic offensive in the mental category. Okay. Uh, Right side, no. Left side, will to, no will to, broadcast message. <laughs> right. A lot of times you'll get the emotional reverb or broadcast message, um, memory field, things like that in this, when we're doing this decoding here. Um, but, you know, we're going to broadcast message. Let me write it down. Oops. But you could wind up. If it was on the right side, there's a memory field, right? You could mm -hmm. wind up back in, in here, you know, maybe find an image, despair anchor. There's there's single beliefs or a belief code. <laughs> back you, might, you could have a belief, a whole belief system as part of your associations to a belief system. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. I haven't I haven't seen that my in my own experience yet. Although I have had people in body code come to belief code and then have to do a belief code with them. Okay, so where are we? We're at the broadcast message. Let's go back there. You know what? Where Can I get a back button? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, broadcast message. All right, six rows. Okay, three columns. So is this broadcast message? Is it in A, B? We have B, C. Okay. Uh, would it be in the odds? No, it's the even. So is it two, four, six? B6, they don't disrespect. I mean, sorry, they disrespect me. No, they don't care. They hate me. They hurt me. Why me? I think we have a why me in one we of We got that ones. one. Yeah, last time yeah. too. Yeah. Okay, so we have why me energy. Um, anything else we need to understand, decode, and know about that? No. So we can just release it. Let's release the why me. I'm already getting the shivers on it. <laughs> One, didn't even swipe yet. Two, <clears throat> all right, and three. Oh, oh, yep. All right, that was nice. A little extra love in there. Okay, so that's released. Now, is there something more is there not something else that we need to release here no okay so we got all the associations we found them all yes have we cleared them all yes okay so we're we're done with the associations so now we'll go back and we'll look at these beliefs um i'll ask again if um well, let's go to the belief code here let's get it up here and ready okay so i'm just going to ask is there anything else we need to know about this parallel this third part of this parallel belief system no anything we need to know about any one of these individual beliefs no and i'm just going to double check that we have that these are correct right so is it is this belief true for you i am not needed no oh did we already on. clear it <laughs> no 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 we didn't hold on uh, let me pull myself back in because i i did feel my my thoughts kind of wander a bit <laughs> If not, we're going to have to find a different one. All right. So let me just pull my focus back. So working on the third part of this belief system about creating the online courses and the stuff that was getting in your way. We found these beliefs. We found those associations. Just cleared the associations. We're back here to the beliefs. There's nothing else we needed to know. Now I'm just going to test through each one. If it's true for you, it's a yes. And if it's not, it's a no. Okay, I just had some weird thing going on and I was getting a no. So I want to totally connect to your subconscious mind, Keiko. Okay, is this a true statement? And maybe it's the way I said it, because normally I say you and I said I, right? So it shouldn't make a difference, but maybe that threw something off. 
So I'm going to say it the way I normally say it. Okay. Is it true that you are not needed? Okay. So it is true. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> is it true that you don't even want to try? Okay. Is it true that others dominate you? Okay. Uh, is it true that you don't believe in yourself? Okay. And is it true that, uh, one, I'm going to say one, cause it's not necessarily you, that one must struggle for success. Yeah. Okay, good. So those are all there. It's good that we found them and now we want to just get rid of them. Not really good that they're there. It's just good that we found <laughs> them. <laughs> yes. Good. We right. found them. So we're going to go like one at a time here. So we're just pulling this belief that I am not needed, right? I'm not needed. Taking that, sending it to the light, giving it to God, giving it up. You don't need it. It's old news. Letting it go. <laughs> okay, did we get that? Yes. Okay, so now we're going to do, I don't even want to try. So that belief, we're pulling that one, sending that up to the light, giving it away, letting it dissolve. <laughs> letting it go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, good. All right. Did we release that one? Yes. Okay. Now others dominate me. Is that belief? Pulling it out, sending it to light, letting it just dissolve in God's light, just releasing it from your system, never to return. All right. That feels good. Is that released? Did we get that? That's released. Yes. Okay. Now we want to release. I don't believe in myself. Okay. Pulling that, getting rid of it, letting it go, giving it to the light. All right, good. Ooh, yeah, we got rid of that one. Yep. Okay, now how about um, one must struggle for success? Let's pull it, pull it out, let it go, let it dissolve in the light. <sighs> okay, that feels good. Can we release that? Yeah, okay, so thank you, God. All right, so now we pulled all of these, every one of them. They're all pulled out. Yeah. So I'm going to test them. Make sure I'm really focused here. Is it true for you? Is it true that you are not needed? No. Okay. Uh, is it true that you don't you don't even want to try? Um, others dominate you. Okay. You don't believe in yourself. Okay. And uh, one must struggle for success. All right. So that's good. They're all out of there. Now, we may or may not have to replace any of them. So we'll just ask. Um, is it necessary? And they're not that many. I'll ask for each individual one here. Instead of doing it section by section, um, do we need to replace? I am not needed. No. Do we need to replace? I don't even want to try. No. Do we need to replace? Others dominate me. Do we need to replace? I don't believe in myself. Do we need to replace? One must struggle for success. So we don't have to replace any of them. Oh, wow. That's, that's interesting. The first, that's the first time that's happened for you, right? Yeah. So yeah. Now, now, what we want to do, since we pulled them, pulled everything out, is we want to, um, it's kind of like called filling in the gap, right? Or defragging, like like you would defrag a computer. So if you want to imagine, so people who never heard, maybe never heard this before, if you can imagine you have like a bookshelf with all these books in there and you start pulling out all of, a bunch of them, like we're pulling out all these beliefs, right? And so there's these gaps, maybe the books are falling over, it looks a little disheveled. Yeah. We're just cleaning it up. So the process that I'm going to be doing is just like filling in the gaps. We're just cleaning up, pushing the books aside, making it all nice and clean, like dusting off the shelf, like making space for new stuff to come in. All right. So this is what we need to do. We need to do this filling in the gap process. Yeah. So let's do that. Okay. Just going to keep swiping. We're just doing that, filling in that gap, right? Organizing the books on the shelf if you want to use that that visual for it, making space for new things to come in, like really just sprucing it all up, tidying it, putting, you know, putting things orderly so that everything flows easy. There's no, you know, your energy is not like hitting spaces and bumps and looking for stuff. It's just all cleaned out and cleared out and ready for the new. All right. Good. Oh yeah. That, that's nice. All right. That's it. So we did that. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to write filled in the gap. Okay. Defragged. All right. So Keiko, I'm going to take us off of this um, sharing. <clears throat> All right. How you doing? <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I can actually feel it physically, like almost like 
I want to say like in the solar plexus. So that's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go. <laughs> I know, but I can see why. I mean, all of them really like stepping back after hearing all three of them. I can see how those would have been blocking my ability to go forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a big way. Yeah. And now I'll give, I'll send you the notes, right? I'll send you like all three of them together. Um, so you can like look at them and compare them and not that you have to, but it, I know for me, curiosity, you just kind of want to like, well, what was all that about? You know, like how, how does that, you know, and then you kind of even, even just feeling the energy of, of that shift by looking at it, like you feel mm -hmm. it right now. It's like, yeah, there's something, something's new, something's mm -hmm. different. Uh, maybe, maybe at the moment, cause usually you feel a lot lighter, but yeah. Yeah. But this one does feel like it's going to take a little bit of processing time because it was really quite big. I mean, all these programs that were running behind the scenes of something that on the surface felt relatively simple. I just feel like it's going to take a little bit for like my body and everything to sort of just kind of gel back into place, kind of like what you were doing with the filing. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. All of that. So it'll be really interesting to see how this unfolds over the next few months right and like how the how the inspiration all of a sudden just comes in or who knows what and, and you're like I can't even stop myself now <laughs> <laughs> um but so let's ask uh, regarding processing time for all three of this because we did you know we did two today and we did one uh Friday two days ago I think it mm -hmm. was right okay so but this whole entire parallel belief system we just pulled out, how many days of processing are required? Is it more than five? Is it more than 10? No. So is it um, six, seven, eight, nine? So it's like nine days of processing. And now, just so people who maybe never knew anything about body code or belief code, so we do, we, we just like to find out processing time so you get an idea because sometimes me personally, I don't really feel anything during processing time, but some people feel shifts like, oh, I feel great. And then no. And then they feel and, and they go back and forth a little bit until they just process that energy out. I've had a few people who have severe processing. So, like I had one woman had to call me up the next day. She said, we have to do a session because I, I can't function today. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's really, really sensitive, empathic person, a, a psychic medium friend of mine. Um so yeah, that, that happens too. That's kind of rare though, but yeah, processing time. So, you know, you just know, this is saying, this is what the energy will take to take hold. But then there's the time of like really fitting, living into this new mm -hmm. reality. Yeah. And who said it could be instant. It could take time. It's just whatever it is. You know, mm -hmm. we just go, go with the flow of whatever that might be. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, I guess we'll wrap it up and we'll end the, uh, recording, but Keiko, thank you for doing all of these videos with me. Oh, um, thank you. Yourself. This was such a fascinating experience, and it was kind of—I mean, it was really fun. <laughs> you know, kind of like, going, ooh, what, what, what's, what's hidden behind door number two or three? <laughs> right, right. What's, what's coming next? You know, yeah. How does the time? Because we want to make sense of it, but it doesn't have to make sense because it's energy, and mm -hmm. things just—you know—you never know how something's connecting to the other thing because our. Our, our our logical, rational mind can only hold so much, but really it's an infinite universe, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we're all stepping into our power now to be able to feel and sense and know more, which is why now it's a great time for you to do your course because more and more people can open up to that. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, I can actually read my animals too. Yeah, I, I bet you I can. Okay, maybe I can. You know, they can think like that and then play with it. However you guide them to to do that. So yeah, maybe besides the whole belief system, Maybe it just, maybe you were waiting for now, for all mm -hmm. that's changing on the planet right now, mm -hmm. to be in that, mm -hmm. in that space where maybe even more people will, will want that. Be more open to it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Or feel a need for it. It's like, no, I need to rely on what I know and not give my power away all the time mm -hmm. to this stuff outside of me. And it's, it's not even, you know, like for me, it's like, I obviously love working with vets and have had really great experience, but it's at the end of the day, we're the ones as our own animal guardians, we make the decision. And I think it's really just empowering yourself 
to know like, okay, do I need another opinion from another vet? Or do I agree and feel aligned with this vet? And do I fully trust this vet? And like, even just like empowering people to help them find the right vet for them. I mean, that, you know, is, that's important too, because I think, you know, it's really important to have a whole bunch of, you know, support and team and vets and other veterinary professionals are really critical but like you know all of us are different all of the animals are different and maybe you know certain vets are better for your animal and you feel more aligned and able to trust and it'd be great to be able to do that before you know <laughs> you you have to maybe pick your own vet for a bigger you know yeah you know, you're just yeah, making me think right now. Tell us your YouTube channel uh, oh, for the sure. farm. Oh, Maybe sure. It's wisteriasurreyranch.com. Oh, wait, no, on YouTube. What would it be? It's like it's uh, it's like youtube.com forward slash user, you know, the YouTube. Oh, but your, your it name. should they come just, up. They can search yeah. your name. Oh, okay. It's Wisteria Surrey Ranch. Okay, good. They'll find you there because they'll see you now that they met you. They'll see you there and, you know, all these alpacas. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because, yeah, maybe somebody wants to contact. Because if you think about it, everybody's got pets, whether you have a farm full of them or a house with a couple of them. Um, yeah, I, I, it feels like this is the right time for that kind of thing, right? To people realizing I need to empower myself to know more about my own health, my animal's health, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And it just right. feels good. It just feels good to be mm -hmm. able to, you know, trust your own intuition. And I think that's one of the key things over time that I've learned, you know, is to be able to go, okay, like, just, you know, can I trust X, Y, and Z and be able to really tune in and make that decision yourself without giving your power away to yes. you know because they are professional and oh I'm not worthy you know <laughs> we fall right, into right. that story all the time so right 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 okay well anyway this was great I can't wait to see what you actually put out there in the world because I know you're gonna do it <laughs> it's, it's just it's gonna happen <laughs> um uh, so anyway thanks for doing that for me and thank you to everybody who's been watching this whole time and uh, we'll see you again some other time bye Yay. everybody bye